beautiful people my name is Nistaku and welcome back to another day of Witchwood uh, last time we did the hawk we turned him into a nice little gold beam and now we are actually gonna go do the wolf because last time I decided <laughs> to accidentally activate the stag and I did not mean to do that at all um, but I still kind of want that one to be last, only because the winter area seems so nice. Where is this? Is this the village? I think this is the village. Um, but yeah, I, I want that to be saved and uh, just make it a nice little wintry moment. So we're going to do the wolf. The wolf is actually really interesting. I think the, the character himself is really cool. If I can find where to go, my goodness. Oh, and uh, we finally figured out what was wrong with my software uh, editor. So that is fun. Now we don't have to worry about that. Here we are. I think it's him we have to talk to. Dang, nabbit. What do they mean too young for the tavern? I'm plenty big enough to go in there. Hello there, child. What are you so per per perplexed about? Ch child I'm no child. I'm a fierce, full-muscled man. He puffs out his tiny chest proudly. Oh, that must explain the little patches of fuzz on your chin there. <laughs> his cheeks flush red in embarrassment as he tries to reassert his dominant facade. Hey, it's rude to stare. Anyway, I, I just shaved. I knew I should have let my beard grow out more. That crotch crotchety crotchety. That crotchety. What is crotchety? That crotchety old barkeep says I look too young to go in the tavern. What business do you have in a dank place like this? <laughs> yeah, it's dank. A lad like you shouldn't be wasting his allowance on ale. I'm not wasting my. <laughs> I don't get an allowance. I'm a brave hunter, or at least I will be as soon as I catch my first quarry. And what exactly are you hunting? Only the biggest, baddest beast of them all. The wolf. Do you know how many houses he's blown down? Not to mention all the missing maidens. Missing maidens, you say? Everyone knows that treacherous dog has a sweet tooth for pretty damsels. Ew. He lures them out into the dark wood so he can gobble them up. The town's guard is too scared to help, so it's up to me to put a stop to his terror. And he's inside that tavern. Right now! A shame there's no miners allowed. <laughs> Let me have a look at this feral fellow and see if he's as bad as you claim. Well, I guess I'll just post up here until he comes out. Then I'll give him a taste of my blunderbuss. Ooh. Who does that barkeeper think he is? He doesn't even look like a kid to me. He's like really young. Like uber duper young. So what's happening in here? Oh, oh. He's huge! <laughs> he's so creepy! Oh, he's talking up a lady, I see. Alright. Do I want to speak to the wolf? Okay. Hello. Her eyes are, are a silent entreaty for help. Aww. Oh, he's slobbering! I don't like it! You find the wolf looming over a frightened looking barmaid. Come on, Red. Why don't you join me for a midnight snack? I, I, I already told you. I can't. I've got work to do. Holy malugas. I'm sure your boss won't mind one bite. I mean, bit. Don't make me beg now. Please. I, I really have to get back to work. Ah, but you're just so delectable. A real feast for the eyes. You accidentally tread on the wolf's tail. Oh, excuse me, sir. He jumps up with a yelp and spins to face you angrily. Ew! Watch where you're stepping, you old hag! Terribly sorry, I couldn't tell you apart from the dirty rug on the floor. Eek, get him! He bears his fangs at you, menacing me. What did you say to me? While the wolf is distracted, the young maiden slips away and disappears into the gloom of the tavern. Hurrah! Now look what you have done. Where'd she go? He shoves his way past you to, prowling, to go prowling around the bar. Hm, the huntsman tale rings true. I better find where that barmaid got to before she becomes dinner. Oh! <laughs> he has grabby hands! Look at him! Whenever he walks! Oh, he's so weird! <laughs> what are you doing with your grabby hand? You can't eat one of these ladies? Why if I talk to him? <laughs> Nothing. Where are you? You can run, but you can't hide. Oh, he's so creepy. I like him. She's up here. Hello? How are you? They don't look alike. She's like more like pink here. Like she, you see the difference, right? I'm not crazy. 
You see the maid's red hood poking out from behind a wooden barrel. Oh, it's just you. Thanks for helping you out back there. I was getting a little cramped. It's hard enough serving meat all day, but to have to deal with that slavering wolf too. He does seem like the relentless type. Are you alright? Just a bit rattled. I was ready to smash a tray over his snout if he got any closer, but I'm sure that would have landed me in hot water with the boss. The wolf's turning over every table and bar stool trying to sniff you out. Great. I guess I'll just have to I guess I'll just hide back here and uh reorganize the storeroom or something. I admire your sense of self preservation, but maybe there's a more permanent solution to this problem. I know a young huntsman looking to prove himself. Perhaps we can lure the wolf outside and deal with him there. Sure, but how? You can't count on me as a bait because I'm done being dog food. You can count- oh. I doubt that Mutt can see very well in this dingy place. I might be able to, to fashion a convincing enough likeness to trick him. You eye a nearby coat rack. That ought to make a good starting place. Well, whatever you're going to do, do it fast. I'm losing out on tips. Oh, okay. Also, I like the barkeep. He's got like a cute little mustache. Uh, assemble a puppet in the village tavern. Find a suitable frame for the puppet. Okay. This old coat rack ought to serve as a solid frame. You won't need much to fool the wolf, but the enchantment will take a special touch. Uh, key to my heart. Sewing kick. Protective talisman. Okay, okay. Um... So we need a skeleton key, which means we need that, which means we need uh, salt, which means we need unveiling powder. Okay, so that's a salt. Got it. So then I need a love potion. Love potion, I need a dryad fruit, which means I need a cinder box. Okay, what else do I need? I need oil, which means I need a deep one. And that requires tidal tincture, right? Wait, yeah. Which means I need skipper scales, which means I need a crab trap, which means I need to make these! Ooh. Ooh, it's getting crafty in here. Okay. So I got that. And then I need weird water, which means I need a jar of water, which means I need to make a jar. Okay. So I need to get enough to make that. Soothing stone. I need a soothing stone, which means I need sporific potion, which means I need a I need another jar of water. Okay. And then is that it? I think that's it. This will be the hardest one to get. So I already have the salts to make the skeleton key. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, I, uh, that's not even the <laughs> just one item. I just realized I need also need a uh, protective talisman. Which is magic paste, which means I need milk, which means I need a jar of water. Okay, and that means I have a bait stick. I already have a bait stick. And then I need... Uh, I need a wicked gemstone, which means I need dog hair, which means I need another sporific potion, which means... <laughs> this is gonna be a minute. Okay. Uh, sure. Excuse me, Mr. Wolfie. Don't mind me. He's so creepy. I don't like him. Ooh. Um, I guess I'll... Man, this is a lot. I guess I'll need just to go s slow? I don't know. I don't know what the move is. I guess I'll work on the key first. Which I, I think I just need to go to the graveyard. Might as well collect all these too. Okay, not, not too bad, not too bad. Nope, come on, come on, get in there. There you go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it only took me like 15 minutes, but I got it all. It did. Well, I got at least I got a little bit more materials. But um I am glad that we're coming to a close cuz it's getting a little it's getting a little testy. It's getting a little tough out here. <laughs> I still can't believe cuz I we've been on this series now for 2 months. I looked I think yesterday or the day before that the very first video of this series came out 2 months ago. It's been a long one. I just I still can't believe we're almost towards the end. It's so surreal and I just I don't know. I, I like I'm happy and I'm like reluctant at the same time, but let's get this going. Uh key to my heart. You tap the key and hear a lovely tone. This will power the puppet's this wi this will power. This will power the puppet's heart and give it a romantic allure. Ooh. Um sewing kit. 
You take stock of the bits and bobs needed for sewing together a convincing physique. There should be enough spare rags in the storeroom for ample stuffing. Okay, and then protective talisman. If this is to survive an attempt on the wolf, it will need all the magical assistance it can get. You place the last stitch against the mannequin's doll-like smile. Its plump head hangs against the coat rack, no livelier than a reed in the wind. Are you sure this will work? I know the wolf doesn't have the keenest eyes, but he's no fool either. You grin underneath your, the, your cauldron and extend a gnarled finger. Also, we do have a face towards the red hood hanging on the coat. It will work just fine, my dear. A hound relies on his sense of smell more than anything else. This spare cloak of yours will complete the illusion. You throw a hood over the puppet's form and utter a dark curse beneath your breath. A great tremor passes through the building, shaking its foundation and making the lights flicker. Ah, oh, he's so cute! It's adorable! An eerie light fills the room, illuminating the puppet's body. Its head cocks ever so slightly to hold you in an unsettling gaze. It's, it's, it's alive! It's alive! Take the puppet. I had better, I had better deploy this puppet out of the wolf's sight. And this back room should do fine. Then I'll simply walk it over to that salivating carnivore and strike up a conversation. Ooh! Can I like look at it in my inventory? Will it say anything? A darling facsimile? Fac facsimile of the wolf's desire. Okay. And we just... Oh! Oh! Hee! I'm a puppet! Yeah! I'm so cute! Ba -da -da -da. Just gonna go wait some tables. Ba -da -da -da. Hey, boss, you got any of my tips? Are you taking my tips, boss? I'll report you. Da -da 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 -da. The union will hear about this. Oh, hello! <laughs> you guide the puppet on its invisible strings and bump it into the wall. Well, well, well. Look who's come back. I knew you couldn't hide from me forever. You contort the puppet in, <laughs> in a flirtatious twist and blow a kiss from the doll's stitched lips. What do you say you and me get out of this stinking tavern, eh? I'll take you up to my place to let you simmer in the uh, moonlight. You do your best to make the puppet flutter its eyelashes seductively, but the lids get stuck halfway. Thankfully, the wolf is paying too much attention to his hunger to notice. Don't be shy now. I'll show you the night of your life. It'll be a real treat, and I promise. The wolf caresses the doll's burlap cheek with a clawed finger, grinning from ear to ear. The puppet returns to affection with a vacant but night stare. <laughs> Get a few things prepared. Meet me at my cabin in the dark wood, just north of the swamp. It's a very dangerous road, so don't think about running off. But don't worry, I'll be watching every step. But I'll be watching you every step of the way. You know, to make sure you're safe. He licks his chops enthusiastically, lashing his bushy tail back and forth. The wolf struts out of the tavern as if he had one thousand gold coins. You pilot the doll back to the storeroom and it collapses into a bundle at your feet, ready for its next assignment. You did it! That wolf is finally out of my hair! Thank you so much! Maybe now I can finally get some work done around here. Hmm. But I didn't hear a gunshot from our brave huntsman. Let's go see if his ambush went off awry. Take my take uh, take my take care, my dear. Don't let the dogs keep you down. Ooh. Bye! I'll see you later! Have fun serving drinks! These people seem nice! Seems great! Lovely. What is this bar called? What's it called? The Thirsty Gargoyle. Oh. Hey, what happened? The young hunter is practically shaking in his boots when you find him outside the tavern. I, I couldn't do it! I brought that wolf right to you and you chickened out? What kind of hunter are you? Did you see him? He's huge and hairy! He gave one look at my little blunderbuss and howled with laughter. How am I even supposed to scratch that monster with this puny pop gun? Sounds like you need some better ammo. As I recall, wolves have a particular distaste for silver. Bye, Abraham's beard, you're right! What I need is a silver bullet. I'll, it'll take some cooking, but it can be done. Oh, this is gonna take me to the winter area, I bet you. Uh, yep, there it is. Alchemical alloy, which means I need the silver fox for 
And I needed this, which means I need so perfect meat, which means I need to make another one of these. Go get water. I have enough for that. I do have meat. Okay. And then I'll need to get frostling snow, which means I need to make one of these. Okie dokie. And then what else for just this? I need the puzzle box. I have enough for a puzzle box. Woohoo! Okay. Melting pot. That's new. Uh, homed on both a physical and spectral level to unnear unnearingly find its target. What's a melting pot? That's a restaurant. An awful end for anyone made of ice and snow. Useful against snowkin. Okay, I'll need red feathers, which means I need to make two more of these. Um, uh, melting pot is something that I had, I think, once. I kind of want to go there again. It was good. I do remember that. It was good. Like a cinder box. Okay, so now I just need to go and get two raven or two cardinals. And what else? I need moonlight globe, which means I need a glitter bomb. Which means I need to make a glitter jar. Okay, uh, I can make a glitter bomb. Alright, uh, what was I looking at? What was I working on? <laughs> oh, this! Uh, totemic moon drop. Uh, where is that? Oh yeah, look at that! We actually have all the reagents, I just realized. That's cool, that's fun. Totemic moon drop. Oh wait, no. That drops from the guys, the... Right? That drops from the stick people? So what do I need to make to stun the stick people? I, f I forgot. Um, they like moonlight, but... Oh, maybe they need glitter bomb. No. Might stun someone? It might be glitter bomb. Uh, we'll see. I guess I will head there first, just to see, so I know what to collect. Um, but yeah, I can't believe this is coming to an end. I'm, like, excited. I forgot what the ending is, if I'm going to be honest, so I'm glad I did. And um, it, it will be time to start a new series, which will be exciting. I have so many options to think of. Like, I saw that you guys liked um, Mad Father. Mad Father is, did really well. I did the normal mode. I did what if. Um, what do you need? Snag vine. Oh, that might be easier for me. Oh yeah, so much easier. I did the normal mode. I did what if mode. And then I did blood mode. And those are all the... That's all from the Mad Father remake. Um, I'm thinking about doing another game from the same creator. I'm thinking Misao. He does Misao. There's Hanged Man. There's actually many options for that. But I do want to get out um, the Carson house. That is going to be the next scary game I play. Um, probably after this video, you will see Carson house and maybe another thing of that's not my neighbor um because that's not my neighbor i believe has an ending and we're still trying to unveil the secrets of that and then once we get that then um then yeah i'm thinking me sal maybe that would be good we'll see we'll see we'll see there's so many options there really is that's like the beauty of having like a youtube channel that's newer i know it's been two years already which is kind of crazy I did take many breaks, so like in my head, I don't view it as two years. Um, but yeah, so like you could just I I don't know I enjoy playing all these old games. They're fun. They're really really fun. Uh, let's see. I need to get two of these and get the birds to come out. Oh wait, you no bunny. No 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 no. The birds don't. You weren't even near it! <laughs> what? You weren't even near it! Are you kidding me? Okay, well I guess I don't have to deal with bunnies anymore. Alright, now the birds can come. Well, if I ever need rabbit feet, I got it now. And meat, and fat. Oh, sorry, did I scare that guy? Whoops. Okie dokie. Um, I can make this now. Oh joy. And then I'm still working on that. Okay. Melting pot. Need one more bird. Come on, birdie. And then I gotta go get water. I doubt you guys have water in this frozen a bit. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Welcome back. Is a bird really not gonna come because I scared it? Ah! Whoa. Hold. Did you see that? I got my Snapchat still. 
And I killed the bunny. I'm sorry. Did I find exploit? Like, what if I just... <gasps> that did nothing. <laughs> that did nothing at all. Alright, come on. I don't want to waste time. Take my trap. Oh. Hey. There we go. Two meats for me? My goodness. I did not realize I was that special. Great. Uh, alchemical alloys. So perfect meat. And then is that... Yeah. Okay. Let's go get some water. Do I even have a jar made? I do. What's the closest place? I think the farm. The farm has the closest place to water. But yeah, Misao, I'm definitely gonna do Wolf Among Us. I forgot already. I'm so excited. I know I can't shut up. You guys are probably so annoyed that I can't shut up. But yeah, there's so many game options. If you guys uh, have any other um, ones that you wanna see, let me know. I will definitely take it into consideration and it will be fun. Where is my truck? There it is. Uh, like the Carson house. I also saw... I could do more... I, have I done... Yeah, I've done a Chilla's art game. I've done the Kidnap. I could do Chilla's art games too. Those games are fun, but man, are they scary. <laughs> Ooh, those games are so creepy. I don't know how people do it and are able to sleep at night. I could do it in the daytime, but at night, I will literally cry. Tears will be falling down my face. Uh, so perfect potion. Cool. Meat. Got it. Meat. Got it. Alright. Come here, big boy. Where are you? I think there's one here. Yep, there is. Eat that. Neither of you? Really? Maybe if you guys didn't split up, where are you going? Hello? Eat it. Uh, help. Uh, did he? Did he just despawn? No, here. You want to eat that and stop being? A Am I doing something wrong? Eat it, you freaking loser! Holy cow! Thank you. I'll take these two right in front of your face. Don't wake up now, please. Oh, uh, sweet. So now we can make the ingots. And now we can make this. And we can go back to Buddy Boo and give him the bullet. I don't know how one bullet can pierce through that man. But it's, I thought silver was for like werewolves. If he's a pure wolf, does that still count? That doesn't make sense to me. It seems like this game goes off of like real life like fables and then mix it with their own way, which is kind of cool. All right, here you go. Abraham Mir and here you go. This is perfect. That wolves won't know what hit him. I'll meet you at the Darkwood and we'll put an end to his terror once and for all. With bullet and blunderbuss in hand, the huntman the huntsman jogs off down the road towards the swamp. I sure hope he finds his bravery along the way, or it won't matter what sort of slugs he's slinging. <laughs> that sounds funny. It doesn't matter what slugs he's slinging. So, is this where we go and see the troll now? Because we saw the troll so long ago, and we still have not been able to deal with him. Uh, here, right? Up here? No. Is it more... Wait, I'm lost. I'm already lost. Is it not up here? What's up here? Oh! No. So wait, we don't- when did we ever deal with the- where is the troll? Oh, he was here! He was here and he left! Oh, so we don't have to deal with him. Interesting. Okay. Well, fine by me. I thought he would have at least a little conversation with him. <gasps> oh, a little creepy! You find yourself looking down the gaping mouth of a gun muzzle. Who, who's there? Show yourself! Don't you point that thing at me. Oh, yes, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. It's just so darn dark here. I can hardly see my own shadow. Why do you think they call it the dark wood? Keep your head on your shoulders, lad. We've got a big bad wolf to bring down. Uh, right. <laughs> I'm totally not afraid of a vicious seven-foot-tall killer who makes his home in a forest as black as night. You need to concentrate on the task at hand. 
We only have one silver bullet. And if the wolf catches even the smallest whiff of our plan, it's curtains for us. <laughs> no pressure. So what exactly is the plan? The wolf is waiting in his cabin. I'll sneak up and lure him to you with my puppet, just as I did before at the tavern. Meanwhile, you'll find a good hiding spot and ready your gun. And this time, I won't whip out. I've got the silver bullet. So, uh, do you know which way the wolf's cabin? I can't really make out a path or anything. Let me worry about that. Just get yourself ready. And remember, don't miss. Oh yeah, because we can't, I guess because he'll kill us. But I was going to say, as if we can't make another bullet. Find a pass to the wolf's cabin. Hello! Who, 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 who? Okay. Oh. You squeeze through the gaps in the trees and duck under uh, claw-like branches, but you've somehow managed to end up right where you started. Bah. I'll never make head or tail of these- I just started! You didn't give me a chance! Perhaps I should ask someone with a bird's eye view. A keen- Oh, look at you! So pretty! I love owls. A keen-eyed owl inspects you from its roost. Hoo hoo hoo! Well, hoo hoo to you! I wonder what is what it is you're trying to say. Oh, inspect the owl. Hello! Oh, my bad. Hello! Something in this creature's eyes suggests it doesn't think much of you. <laughs> okay, fine. Weakness, avian lexicon. Are we gonna learn how to speak bird? Oh my gosh, we are. I have to go back! <laughs> Why didn't you just say so? Alright, we have to make two more of these. <laughs> and I won't get bunny this time. I won't get bunny this time. Alright, and then we need stuffed burb. Uh, which means we need... That is disgusting. Which means we need blue feather, which means we need to make two more of these. It's a good thing I got a lot of wood. Then we need... Mimic's toe, which means we need skull key, which means I need to make more of this salt to go get more skulls. Right. Right. Yes. Okay. And then we need pigeon beak. So I'm guessing I need another one of these, because I don't know how else I would get pigeon beak. Great, so we're making five of these bad boys. Let's go! Yippee! Bye! <laughs> Have fun alone! I'm not coming back! It's all on you! Okay. Alright, alright, fine. I'm so upset! I really thought we would be able to like talk to the troll. Didn't he like fart on us or something? It would have been great lore. Ooh, I'm in the wrong area. Where do I go? I go this way. Dang, I, I am kind of like, not upset, but a little disappointed that we didn't get much more in the swamp. Because we had two in the farm. And then two in, um... Almost. No, we only have one in the graveyard, one in the beach. We had two in the farm, two in the forest. And I guess two in the village. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. But, let me get this skull. Yoink! Thank you. Let's make our key. Oh, was I supposed to make that? No, I wasn't. I just made another one. That's fine. And then we go to the market, open a key, get a pigeon, go to the snow place, go get some red feathers, go to the forest, go get some blue feathers. And then we can speak bird. How fun. Sweet. All right, you rat with feathers. I am going to speak to you. Uh, eventually. Hold on, I forgot to make it. <laughs> Sorry. Magical translation scroll in the language of burbs. How fun! Yippee! And a hoot hoot caw caw. Uh, what's another bird noise? There you go. <laughs> that was perfect timing. You wave your linguistic scroll at the owl. Magical qu What? You wave your linguistic scroll at the owl. Magical quill at the ready. Well, speak up! Hoo hoo hoo! The quill scribbles across the parchment of its own accord, translating the owl's hoots into something more understandable. Walk warily, naive neighbor. Exploration seldom escapes notice. Ah, uh, what does that even mean? I thought owls were supposed to be wise. Well, the first thing I got, because that was awful, but look at this. Ready? Look at this. Ready? Ready? Are you ready? West, west, north, north, east, south, east, north. 
Now, I'm no genius, and I did play the game before, and I don't remember that. I'm gonna be honest. But that's more obvious, because look at this. Look, it would have been lowercase, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? We're gonna... Oh, is this the center? Okay, come on. You didn't have to make it that obvious. Are you serious? I just... Okay, let's just... It's fine. West. Alright, walk. And then west again. Warily. And then north. Naive. And then north again. Neighbor, and then east. We're going in like a swirl. Um, and then Zelda. Wait, right? Oh my gosh, I'm I'm so confused. And then east again. Oh no, we're not going. So we're going. Do, 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 do. And then north. Hello. Hey. Oh, that must be the wolf's cabin up ahead. He's expecting Little Red to come and knock it, so I'll need to use the puppet to lure him t into the huntsman's ambush. Oh, Kidoki! Oh, look at me! Oh, I'm so cute and so pretty! Oh, I just want to see my Mr. Wolf! You puppet the red hooded doll to the door of the wolf's rickety cabin. An evil light glows from within, casting eerie shadows on the ground. You lift the puppet's head to peep through the window, spotting chewed bones and torn rags littering the floor, but no sign of the wolf. Suddenly, yellow eyes stab out of the shadows. There you are, my delectable little pork chop. I was beginning to think you'd forgotten about me. Through the strings of the puppet, a chill runs down your spine as your animal instincts can't help but scream one thing. Run! Okay, uh, we gotta go. What? Oh, wait. Oh, were we supposed to follow the lanterns? Preferring to hunt underneath, under the cover of darkness, the wolf pauses to snuff out a glimmering wisp. You'll need to use these wisps to your advantage if you hope to outrun the wolf. I see! Oh! The wolf's claw close around the puppet as he opens his jaws wide to swallow it whole. Before he can snatch up the doll in his teeth, you yank its invisible strings, pulling the puppet out of its grasp and back into your hiding spot. Drat, I need to start over again. He's fast, but the wisp light might be enough to distract him. I didn't know, I'm sorry. Oh, look at me, I'm so cute. Oh, Mr. Wolfie. Hey, oh, Mr. Wolfie, please don't kill me. All right, all right, we're fine. We're fine, he's so fast. He's so fast! Run, little red! <laughs> Run! I thought we were gonna go back the way we came, I guess not. It's fine. Ah! Ooh, I got stuck. It's fine. It's fine. We're cool. Hey, you're so slow! What? Lantern's bothering you? Getting in your eye? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Alright, we have to be close. I think he's right here. Yes, he is. Oh, go! Get him! Help me! At your command, the puppet comes to a halt at the center of a moonlit clearing. The wolf bursts out of the shadows, gripped by ferocious rage. <laughs> there's no place left hot. Le there's no place left to hide, little piggy. You're mine now. All mine. Bearing his fangs, the wolf pounces into the air with tremendous force. The sound of thunder roars loudly from across the clearing. Crows scatter into the night air and the dark wood falls silent. Blinking in disbelief, the wolf staggers to a stop. He glances down at his chest, where a crimson spot blossoms out onto his vest. The huntsman reveals himself from the bushes, holding his smoking weapon anxiously. Y you shot me. The beast crashes to the ground, exha exhaling his final breath, his glassy eyes transfixed on the full moon high above. Hesitantly, the huntsman boggles at the wolf before a triumphant grin crosses his face. I did it! I actually did it! I defeated the wolf! Don't forget that you had some help, kid. This villain won't hunt any longer, and that's what really matters. As the huntsman strikes a courageous pose atop his trophy, something pearly white falls from the wolf's mouth. Oh, that's so weird! That's so eerie to look at! I'm gonna be honest, that's so weird. That's like the first one we actually see die. You pick up a glistening fang broken by the wolf's fall. From deep inside the body to the bloody tooth, you can finally faintly hear the whimpering of a dog. 
soul of the wolf. Oh, yay! Now that, that's really weird to look at. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's cool though. I think this one's a really cool one. Thank you, Mr. Owl. You're so sweet. Yeah, a hero. Yeah, totally, buddy. Oh, and now we're on the last one. That's crazy. And that's just, what, two days away? No, yeah, two days away for you guys. Oh, how exciting. Oh, we're so close to coming to a close. Well, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed another little chapter on this. I appreciate you guys for all your support. And, um, yeah, just thank you for liking, subscribing, and commenting below. Thank you for showing me all your appreciation. I appreciate you guys truly, and I hope you guys have a blessed day. All right, thank you guys so much, and I'll see you later. Bye!